I'm in the studio and I am here as an infinite being having a human experience and I've got this big old canvas behind me that is two feet by four feet and I'm gonna be painting some freedom tonight so this is a, a new canvas a new journey I'll have multiple layers on this one but the first layer is all about freedom. So I'm just here to play and I wanted to invite you with me. So we are painting freedom. Not too sure about this color, but I have a lot of it. So I figured it was a good base, a good base color. And I would say that yellow is a pretty free, happy color. Although some people are a bit afraid of it, especially when it comes to painting it.
what's freer than getting your hands all dirty? I fed them, yes.
That feels pretty free. I think I'm all set with my first layer. That um, last part reminded me, the first painting I ever made was for my grandma. The first person that ever said, you know, hey, I want you to make me something and hang it in my house was my grandma. And that was when I was in college. And um, she really wanted something abstract. And at that time, I didn't really do abstract. So it felt a little odd to me. Um, but I was like, I'm determined to have fun and make an abstract painting. And so I remember that little part right there just reminded me of when I, um, I had taken tennis balls and, <laughs> let me shake this up. I took tennis balls and I rolled them in paint and I stood back and just threw them <laughs> at the canvas. And I did lots of little things like that um, to really figure out, well, how, what does that mean abstract? How do I get something abstract? Um, but that, I don't remember all the other things I did. I remember I did a bunch of, you know, using household items and stuff, but the tennis balls really stick out in my head because I remember I would roll them and just like wail it. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really fun. I haven't done that really since then. Maybe I should try. So, all right, so here we go. This is my first layer freedom painting. I wanted to uh, paint today and I wanted to get busy on this painting that I started about a week and a half ago and I wanted to bring you with me because you were with me for the beginning of it I didn't want to um, work on my next process without you I have been uh, really itching to create and I got to the point today where I was like even though I have stuff I gotta be doing it's just time for me to splash a little color around and feel alive so in this process the last when we did this painting here when I worked on this one um, meditated on freedom and this is what came out of the freedom session since then I have been working on another meditation visualization with our Super Soul Flow group, um, with our guide Whitney Freya, on the aspect of us, the aspect of us that is no longer um, worrying about some of the things we worry about, or the aspect of us that is successful in the ways that we want to be successful. And um, so I've been spending a lot of time the past two weeks meditating on the aspect of me that has reached certain goals or has alleviated certain worries and in that process all sorts of stuff has come up all sorts of blocks and things that I didn't realize that I was um, putting barriers up against so it's been super enlightening and I've been journaling my my experience um, because I do want to facilitate workshops where we go through this process and so I've been journaling what I've been doing um, but I have not yet taken it to this big canvas here and that's what I want to do for a little while today some of the things that came up, I'm not going to talk about um, too in depth of the worries and things that I was meditating on, but I will um, tell you a bit about the process and the feeling. So when I first started meditating on my big huge worry, um, I couldn't, I kept getting stuck. It took me three times to really get through the process and get to a point where I felt like I uh, really understood everything about that worry and what areas I was blocking. And the first time it came up for me, um, I just felt freedom. I just felt like I was, I used the analogy that I was um, Julie Andrews and the sound of music, the hills are alive. I felt like I was just spinning and free and happy, um, skipping 
all of those things. Um, but there wasn't a whole lot of substance behind how yet. So I meditated on that same worry again. And the second time that it, uh, the visualization came to me, I felt, I felt nurtured. I felt loved. Um, the aspect of me that was past this worry was confident and peaceful. And she gave me a big, huge hug, and we walked along, you know, arm in arm, just sort of protected. And um, that one again, I got, I wasn't in rolling hills as high in a mountain, but I was in an open field. I was in more of a meadow in a very rural area. And so this is what. I sketched in my journal about the two things that I had meditated on and how um, I realized the hills are alive came through in the first meditation and then um, painting is the path to great aliveness came through in the second one so they were connected but they were still kind of um, disjointed I I received as a yantra, a visual mantra, a visual gift in my first meditation, the um, hamsa sign, hamsa single. So that is about protection and happiness, success. Um, and then I did it for a third time, all on the same worry, trying to get to this aspect of me that was past this worry and has gotten to the other side. And the third time, um, it really was a feeling of openness, of generosity. Um, the aspect of me believed in her worth. And there was lots of laughter. And again, there was skipping and there was swinging. And we were uh, in the hammock and it was playful. It was joyful. Uh, she had a golden glow about her, was light and fluttery, and she gave me the gift of a blue butterfly. And while I was in the meditation, I was fighting off this gift. I was just, I kept thinking, what is this? This isn't, this isn't tangible, like this isn't an actual gift. Um, this is a butterfly, it's in my hand and then it flew away. And it wasn't until I came out of the meditation and I decided to Google what blue butterfly means and I found that it is a symbol, it symbolizes a person's essence, a person's soul. And the blue butterfly um, brings joy and a change in luck. And so it also means that a wish has been granted. And then I was like, my goodness, that was like such a beautiful gift. How could I, in the meditation, be fighting it so much? It's been really uh, exciting process and really interesting to, to know that you do really have all the answers inside and your subconscious is here and it is trying to guide you and give you um, the most protection and power and joy that it can. And it's up to us to tap into that and it's up to us to listen. Um, and the next time I meditated, I decided to close that first worry and open up a second worry. And again, it took me a few tries before I really got a message. But the second worry, the message was super powerful. And it turned out that um, you know, I got a real clear real clear message that you know how do I get from here to there and it was all the energy that you put into creating things you put into creating stuff that you enjoy use that energy into creating yourself and um, that was just that just felt really good expand your reach connect with more people and um, the yantra she gave me at the end of that meditation it took a little while to see and this is kind of funny about meditation sometimes is you you know you're visualizing you want something to be there um, I'm listening to a guided meditation so they're telling me she's giving me a gift 
and I'm looking down at my hand and I'm just not seeing anything and you're your ego mind, your logical mind starts kicking in and go, what are you talking about? There's nothing there, like there's nothing to be seen. And it isn't until you shush that, until it's just quiet down um, and really just focus on the gift that something appears. So for me it was a round sphere and that sphere I kept looking at, what is it? And I realized it was heavy and I was like, gosh, what is this round sphere that's heavy? And, um, and boom, all of a sudden, the whole world, the whole world showed up in my hand. And it was just so poetic that you have the whole world in your hands. You have the whole world available to you. Um, you're not realizing it. You need to you need to realize it's it's much bigger than your little your little bubble your little circle you have the entire world available so that's that's what i've been up to in my um creativity coaching program that is the kind of work that all of us in the program have been doing on ourselves and that we hope to and plan to share with others in each of our own ways um so i'm excited to share that with you more but i'm also super excited to be in this space right now where i'm getting to really be in the process and really um take on those aha moments and see where i struggle so that i can help when someone else is struggling and see where the light bulb clicks on so that i can help other people other people recognize when their light bulb kicks on and um and yeah so Anyway, I'm here to paint, so I'm going to shut up now and get painting. And um, some of the things I plan to paint are coming directly from those meditation visualizations. So that's why I wanted to share that with you first. Okay. <laughs>
okay, well, I'm gonna stop there. I don't know where, where this will go from here, but I feel good that I was able to get messy, paint, release some pent up energy. Um, man, if I don't create, it's been about, what did I say, 10 days since I've painted on this big guy. And uh, even though I've done little things here and there, it's not the same as getting getting it all out on canvas and really playing with color and mixing things around. Um, and it feels good to bring in all the symbols that showed up for me this week and the last week in my meditations. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. Today I'm finally ready to do the last part of my super soul flow journey. I've been in the super soul flow um, meditation course with Whitney Freya and this is my final my final layer. Um, so this is the canvas that I have been painting on for the whole process of this particular course and all the different symbolism from each meditation journey has been um, added to this canvas. Uh, we've got my yantras of the blue butterfly and the world and we have my freedom freedom painting, freedom energy painting in the beginning. I also have some rolling hills down there from my um, aspect of me meditation, which was part of that. And uh, so this painting has all of the yantras, all of the energy that I have put forth in this meditation program. And now I get to paint my wings. That's the final, the final part. I've earned them and uh, they will help me rise above, rise above all my, any situation I encounter in my life. And I just outlined a little rough draft of wings to give me a guideline. And one of my favorite tips is to use some chalk. So you have to have a dry canvas, but if your canvas is dry, you can use just regular chalkboard chalk to map out where you want things to go. And um, it's really easy to erase the lines while you're figuring it out and uh, just paint right over them. And again, if you have any lines left over after you paint, you just let your paint dry and then you can wipe down those lines.
Okay. I'm gonna stop there for a little while and let that dry and uh, come back and finish it again. Thanks for joining me today.